All righty, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about some frameworks and libraries. In all honesty, I'm not going to go over what the difference is between a framework and library in JavaScript. Are they similar? Sure. Are they different? Definitely. Uh, but if you want to know the difference between a framework and a library, there are answers on Stack Overflow that are significantly better than whatever I could pull out of my brain right now. But what I do want to talk about is which frameworks and libraries you should learn. Now, I'm going to say this, and I know I'm going to get some backlash from some developers out there, but I have statistics, I have logic, and I have good reason for saying what I'm about to say. The next thing you should learn is either ES6 or jQuery. Now, the reason that I would get any backlash, uh, especially from this, the more senior uh, developer community, is because they're all going to say, learn React.js. Don't learn jQuery, learn React. Or they're going to say, don't learn React, learn Vue. Or they're going to say, don't learn Vue or React, learn Angular 2. In all honesty, any job that you have, if you get employed as a front-end developer, every company is going to assume that you know jQuery. Not that you're an expert in jQuery, but you know at least the basics of jQuery, that you're intermediate with jQuery. Now, jQuery is just a JavaScript library, and it just improves upon the cross-browser compatibility. That's all it is. Now, the React community says, no, no, don't use jQuery, just use React. React is basically a full replacement for jQuery. It's no longer required to learn jQuery. And while that may be true, if we look at the statistics, how many websites are using jQuery right now? I can tell you, it is an overwhelmingly high percent. In fact, I can tell you right now, as of the middle of 2017, there are way more jQuery websites than there are React websites, Vue websites, and Angular websites put together. Now, why is that? That's because jQuery has been around for a very long time. It has a very high adoption rate, and it was the key to making JavaScript work when browsers back in the day, actually not that long ago, uh, they rendered or they, they understood JavaScript differently. So like Ajax requests, when Ajax first came out, browsers really, uh, for the most part, they agreed on how it was supposed to work, but Internet Explorer didn't. You had to do a different type of Ajax request. You had to write different code for that to work in Internet Explorer. And jQuery took care of that pain for us and made it easy. And jQuery said, to do an Ajax request, all you have to write is dollar sign dot Ajax, and you put your options inside the parentheses. That's it. We didn't have to worry about dealing with Internet Explorer and Safari and Opera and Chrome and Firefox, which was becoming more popular too. But now we have these React developers saying, oh, well, React is so much faster than jQuery. And you know what? They're right. React is faster than jQuery. But you know what? Vue is faster than React. Now, that might change depending on when you're watching this video. As of middle of 2017, Vue is faster than React. But when we talk about speed, and here's something I want to really, really emphasize is when we talk about speed, as front-end developers, we're talking milliseconds. We're talking benchmarks that hardly even matter. So when a React developer says, oh yeah, well, React is faster than jQuery, well, they're not wrong. I mean, React is faster than jQuery, but by how much? Uh, by basic jQuery? Hardly enough for the average user to notice. Now, a very keen user might notice, but uh, the time between clicking your mouse down and clicking your mouse up, or by the time you put your your thumb or one of your fingers on a button on your phone and move your finger away, like the action's already done. Nobody notices. Now that's a painful truth that senior developers as of 2017 don't want to tell you. They don't want to admit that. Why? Because they're egotistical. They think jQuery is basically scum compared to React. Now with that said, Vue developers are like, oh, well, if React is supposed to be so fast, why don't you just learn Vue? Vue is actually faster. And Vue is only like, I don't know, 10, 20 milliseconds faster. Maybe not even that anymore. And I mean, that gap is closing. So what is 10 milliseconds? Well, 10 milliseconds is so fast that as a user on a website, you don't notice it at all. Your brain cannot fathom 10 millisecond gap. Just doesn't work that way. So then should you go and learn Angular 2? Possibly. 
I mean, Angular 2 is pretty powerful. Uh, it is a full framework. It is absolutely amazing. I'm not going to lie. It is also very fast. Does it fill the need of jQuery? Generally speaking, yeah. So then if you can replace jQuery with React, Vue, or Angular, or any variation or mix of the three, why ever learn jQuery? Well, again, that comes down to the demand. As a developer, you, you don't learn languages that are super cool right now just because they're super cool. You tend to learn languages that are in demand. jQuery has been in demand essentially since it began. It has been adopted and adapted to almost every website on the planet. It is everywhere. You cannot be a developer and avoid jQuery. Now, here's the catch is even if you got a job as a React developer, Vue developer, or an Angular developer, all your employers are still going to assume that you know jQuery. And I could imagine that you'd probably be pretty hard pressed to find a handful of developers that know React, Vue, or Angular and don't know jQuery at all. Like, in my world, I know a lot of developers and that doesn't really exist. I know they have preferences. They prefer like React over jQuery and that's totally fine. You're allowed to have preferences, but they still know jQuery. So my point that I'm getting at for this lesson, for this video, is what do you learn next? Now that is the question, isn't it? Now, despite what everybody says, there are a lot of courses out there that say, go from vanilla JS straight to React because React is amazing, or uh, go straight to Vue because it's faster than React or whatever it is. They all have their biases. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm eliminating my bias from what I'm telling you. And I'm going to go purely off statistics and what the market is looking for. So what should you learn next? ES6. Don't worry about jQuery. Learn ES6. ES6 is the next major step in JavaScript. In fact, it's actually starting to move on already, uh, but it comes with some really cool things. And we've already learned some ES6 in this class, uh, such as const, let, uh, arrow pointing uh, functions. Uh, we've also learned about classes. That's some serious programming there. I would say learn ES6 because it comes with some pretty cool things and you're going to have to learn them eventually. Number two is jQuery. Now, again, the only reason I'm saying jQuery is because it is everywhere. You cannot avoid it. If you're a front end developer and you want to get a job, no jQuery. It's not hard to learn. It's it's in fact very easy to learn. It's very easy to install. It's one line. You just uh, use your script source is equal to and then some CDN link to whatever version of jQuery you're using. And their docs are pretty good, too. Next. And this is where it's debatable. And I'm going to leave this up to you. And you can do your own research for this. But again, I said I'm going to leave my bias out of this. So here's what we're looking at. Number three, learn React, Vue, or Angular 2. Pick one and learn it. Now, if you want my professional opinion, I would do it in this order. Learn React first, just because there's clearly more demand for it. Then learn Vue, because... Well, first of all, Vue is super cool, and there's also a fair amount of demand for it. And then learn Angular. And while Angular is not as popular anymore, it does have some pretty cool features, and there is a possibility that it's going to make a little bit of a comeback, although that's typically said by Angular developers uh, who just prefer Angular because they know it. With all that said, you don't have to do that. You don't have to take my advice here. If you don't want to learn ESX, you want to learn jQuery, go for it. If you want to learn jQuery, React, Vue, and Angular, and then learn ESX, by all means, go for it. Like there is no right or wrong way here. And here is here is where asking for guidance in uh, a Facebook group, for example, uh, that has a lot of bias in it, that doesn't have a lot of strong senior direction in it. Um, there's a Facebook group, which probably shouldn't say the name of it right now, but there are a lot of members in it. And the seniors in there, I'm doing air quotes here, seniors, they always give terrible advice. Like for example, when a, a junior dev comes in and says, hey, what should I learn? Should I learn uh, you know, JavaScript slash Node.js or should I learn uh, Python or should I learn PHP? And a lot of people will just jump to an answer. They will say whatever their bias is towards. And I'm not saying that they're wrong, but I'm not saying that they're right either. What you should definitely know, however, is that 
Again, you're a front-end developer, and your job is to address demand in the market. So if you look around your city, let's say you live in Chicago or New York or Dallas or Toronto, uh, Dublin, London, wherever you live, any city that you live in, go and look at jobs, job postings, whatever that may be, wherever they may be, hop on the internet, look for jobs. And if you see a lot of jobs for PHP and you don't see any jobs for Node.js, maybe you should go and learn PHP. If you see a lot of jobs that require jQuery and uh, Vue or Angular, but you don't see very many jobs that require React, well, don't go and learn React yet. Your job right now is to become a developer who can get employed, and then you can start making money while continuing your education. Now, I hope this is making sense. Again, I'm not being biased here. I'm just saying that moving from what we've learned now to ES6, there is the least amount of friction. And then from ES6 to jQuery, again, least amount of friction plus demand. And then moving from jQuery to uh, React, Vue, or Angular, there's going to be a jump in there. There's definitely a leap. But if you know everything in this course, you know ES6 and you know jQuery, like these other libraries and frameworks are going to be a breeze for you. So just remember, whatever you learn, whether you take my advice or you don't take my advice, that's fine. Whatever you decide to learn, make sure there is demand in your market for it. It breaks my heart when I see developers learning languages like Node.js and then they say, I can't get a job writing Node because almost nobody in my city writes Node. Or all the employers are writing Python and I decided to learn PHP. Or I decided to learn Ruby on Rails uh, and everybody else was writing Node.js. Like you have to look at your market, figure out what is in demand and whatever is in demand, follow that trend. And that, my friend, is how you stay employed. It's also how you get employed. Anyways, so I went on a little bit of tangent there. Uh, frameworks and libraries, there are tons of them. Uh, when it comes down to libraries, a lot of them will require jQuery or React typically, and that's fine. Uh, frameworks, there are some amazing frameworks out there. Um, and really, all I wanted to bring up was the fact that there are frameworks and libraries out there, and there are different directions that you can take your education moving beyond this course. Anyways, I think I've said enough. Uh, remember, you don't have to take my advice on this lesson. Uh, I've used, you know, statistics, and I've looked at demand, and I meet hundreds of developers all the time. I've, I teach thousands of developers, and I see what employers are looking for. Uh, and that's why I gave you this list. This list. But if you look at this list and you say, mm, you know what, Caleb, uh, I only want to be a React developer, then I'm going to say, awesome. Good luck. I hope, I hope it works out for you. I really do. And in the event that it doesn't work out, well, guess what? You have a ton of other things that you can learn to increase your skills and to increase your net worth and to become more employable. That's awesome. Anyway, so this lesson, uh, or the, yes, this video, because this was not really too much of a lesson, is more of a lecture of me talking about frameworks, libraries, where to go next, uh, and what the market is currently asking for. With that said, don't feel overwhelmed. You have lots of time to learn these, uh, these languages, these, uh, not these languages, these frameworks and libraries, they're not going anywhere. They're going to be around for a little while, so you have a little bit of time. And that's all I'm going to say about this subject. All right, cool. Uh, let's move on to the next lesson.